Hey foodies, I'm going to show you how to make Oreo cookies. Yummy, dippable Oreo cookies. Let's look at the recipe. Hmm. As you can see, there's not many ingredients for this cookie recipe. It's a really easy recipe to do and with just a few simple ingredients. So let's start by creaming our butter. Okay, I'm gonna wipe down the outside edges of the uh, bowl and we're gonna add some sugar. this up. So the sugar and the butter are all combined. I'm going to add my egg and I'm going to mix it again. But first I'm going to wipe down the outside edges again. There we go. And here we go. Now we just want to add our flour. All of the flour that is. And our cocoa. And our salt. And I'm gonna mix this really well. Look at that. Oh. It looks great. Oh my goodness. So we're going to scrape off the sides of the paddle. You might be thinking that it's a bit on the wet side. It's. I thought that too the first time I made it and uh, I added extra flour and boy was that a mistake. You want to keep it just this wetness. I'll show you the trick. Okay, so I'm going to put it all out on a piece of parchment paper. If I can scoop it, oh my goodness. Spatula. There we go. Let's just set that there for now. I'm going to move this into the middle and flatten it down a little bit and try and keep it nice and even. Now I'm going to put another piece of parchment paper on top and I'm going to roll it out to about a quarter inch of, a, of an inch. Look at that, that looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge for about 30 minutes. And we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna start rolling it out a little bit further. So while we're waiting for the cookies to cool in the fridge, I thought we'd make some icing. So we're gonna start by adding all of our icing sugar and our butter. And we're gonna cream these together. Now I'm going to add my vanilla and my milk. I'm going to give it one quick scrape down and then one last stir and then it will be ready. And 
there we go. We've got buttercream icing ready to go for the cookies. So at this point, you can add flavorings, color, whatever you like. But I'm just going to leave it plain. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh, it looks really good. Look at that. I'm going to be using these parchment sheets again. So now, you just want to press with a cookie press or a, a round cutter or a square cutter, you're going to shape your cookies. So I'm going to just press. Oh, look at that, and press. And I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna press off. Cut out all of these cookies. Okay, there we go. I've got both trays of cookies ready to go. I'm gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees for nine minutes. Look at these cookies, I've got them all cooled and ready to be iced. So I'm gonna move one of these over here and then I'm just gonna flip every other cookie. Okay, look at that. We're almost there. Now I'm just gonna put a dollop of icing in each one. So I've got them iced and then we just put the top on and squish it down and you can see when I'm squishing it, it comes out just beautifully. So I'm going to finish these up and then we'll give them a try. Look at these gluten-free Oreo cookies, a buttercream icing. Oh, I can't wait to sink my teeth into it. I've even got a glass of milk because apparently this is what you do. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. You're gonna love them. I can't wait for you to try this recipe. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.